Uh, good morning our listeners welcome on our video today uh, today as you can see we are looking at history paper one this is kcse history paper one revision we have questions and answers here and as you know this one is out of 100 marks section a has 25 marks uh, section b as you can see it has uh, 45 marks and then section C, uh, you can see it has 30 marks. Uh, we request you to watch this video up to the end so that you can uh, benefit out of uh, our discussion today. And you never know, some of questions here can be repeated in uh, your KCSE or the exam that you are waiting for, maybe in uh, term 1, term 2, to, uh, term 3, or even in your cut uh, so if this is your first time to watch our videos kindly uh, subscribe to this channel and like this video to the subscribers we really want to thank you guys uh, for the support that you've given us uh, question number one you are told give two ways in which the stand of history promote a sense of patriotism in learners number one it enables the learners to acquire positive attitude towards their country so that is what history does uh, to the learners number two it encourages learners to be responsible citizens and number three learners develop positive values number three it enables learners to become loyal to their country let's go to question number two name two communities that belong to the highland nilots highland nilots we have two gains nandi Sabot, Kipsigis, Maraquet, Pakot, Keio. Those are the uh, communities that belong to Highland Nilot. We go to question number three. What was the main reason for the migration of Eastern Bantu from Shungwaya during the pre colonial period? They usually repeat this question. Uh, they were attacked by Oromo. You can also call them uh, Gala. Question number four. So the main factor that led to the collapse of the Portuguese ruler along the East African coast. I remember the key word here is main, main, main factor. That one, the attack by Oman Arabs and the seizure of Fort Jesus. Question number five, name two Arab families which ruled the Kenyan coast on behalf of Oman, Ra on, uh, Oman Arabs. That one is Nabahan. That is the first family. Uh, family number two is Mazrui family. Number three is Busaidi family. This question they also repeat it so much. So you better master that one. Question number six, you are told to state two political responsibilities of a Kenyan citizen. Uh, number one, offering oneself for election to an elective post. That one is a responsibility. Number two, voting during elections. Number three, taking part in local and national debates or suggests the best uh, suited people to lead the country. <laughs> lunch next ensure proper utilization of public and the pub and the private resources including water and electricity question number seven you are told identify the first two steps in the constitutional making process first two they are very specific here and that one is a debate over contentious issues number two collect collection of public views number eight 32 rights of the youth in kenya provided in the constitution of kenya 2010 constitution uh, that one access to relevant education and training number two have an opportunity have opportunities to associate to represent and to participate in all 
spheres of life number three access employment number number four and the last one are protected from harmful cultural practices and exploitation let's go to number nine name the treaty that concluded the partition of east africa that one is the heligoland treaty uh, in other words you can call it anglo germany treaty of nine of 18 1890 question number 10 identify one system of administration used by the british in kenya and you get one mark that one is indirect indirect rule you can see it here then we have a uh, question number 11 identify two ways through which the colonial government controlled the movement of africans to the urban centers you get two marks how does the colonial government control the movement of africans to the urban centers because you remember at this time uh, the end settler farming uh, and the plantation farming which was uh, curtailing or which restricting africans uh, to live in the rural area so that they can uh, do the labor so what ways uh, they used the colonial government now to control these people from moving to towns number one uh, taking hand count uh, that is to count them one by one number two enact strict rules on migration into the urban centers number three ensuring that only those who had specific activities to undertake in the urban centers lived there next introduction of the kipande system kipande system this one is the introduction of pass yeah. the pass remember it handed the, the your location your employer and uh, your residential area a uh, question number 12 what was the main method used by tom boyer to protect the african interests against colonial oppression uh, used trade unions question number 13 uh, state the main role main role of the senate in kenya what is the work of the the senate the main one the reason why a senate was formed this one is the senate represent the interest of the counties at the national level question number 14 identify one organ of the national security in kenya one organ one organ uh, then defense forces number two national intelligence uh, service number three national police service we go to question number 15 name one national philosophy used as a development strategy in kenya since independence that one is african socialism number two arabe philosophy then nyaya philosophy these are the only uh, three philosophies that kenya has ever implemented i don't know whether this time they will talk about uh, about a map 